Welcome back to the channel and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you step by step how to make a sour gummy in Blender. Now I've made a gummy bear before so what I'm going to do, I'll, um, part of this video will just be the exact same bit where I show you how to model a gummy bear but what I'm going to be doing different in this tutorial later on from the material parts onward we're going to be doing things very differently. So this tutorial will take you through the whole process in a new scene in Blender all the way from a default cube, all the way through to ending up with this nice looking sour gum, um, sour gummy render. You can see we're gonna be creating this really nice looking material and then also scattering on these little sugar particles to make it look like a sour gummy. So I will be uploading this final Patreon, um, this final blend file to my Patreon. But if you're not on the Patreon, it doesn't matter. You can still follow along and make this result that you see here. This is a very fun beginner friendly tutorial and uh, yeah, it's already making me hungry. So let's jump in and make a sour gummy in Blender 4.3. So the gummy bear is super simple. We're gonna go ahead and just delete everything in our scene and let's go shift A and under our mesh options, we're we'll adding a UV sphere. And let's keep this super simple. We're just gonna tab into edit mode and we're gonna enable proportional editing. Let's just enable the X mirror just so we keep things even. And we're just gonna grab, I guess these bottom verts here or maybe just a single bottom vert here and just kind of flatten it a little bit by bringing it up with proportional editing. Let's grab this top one, move, maybe move it up and out. And we're just making like a rough teddy bear shape. And let's go to the top view. And this is the back here. So you can flatten this a little bit. And really in reality, this would actually be really flat because it's kind of molded in these little cups. Um, but with mine original, I didn't really go that crazy, but you could do that if you wanted to. So just kind of flatten that. And that's about it. Let's tab back out. Let's go shift A. Let's add in a cylinder. Tab into edit mode and just select the top verts and go control B to create a bevel. It's like so. And then roll your middle mouse button to add in more segments. And then just grab these bottom verts, move them down, S to scale them a little bit. And you can kind of move everything up so the origin point kind of sits here. Don't overthink it. Just a very simple shape like this. Tab back out. And then in your right orthographic view, just go R to rotate it like so as to scale it. And in the front view, we're just gonna move this over here and let's go to our modifiers. Click here and search and type in mirror. Click enter and then click on the eyedropper, select the body as a reference. And now grab this and just rotate it and position it. Now you could scale this to whatever scale you want. Um, whatever you think looks good on your gummy bear, go ahead. I wanna go something simple like so, and I'm gonna go Shift D to duplicate it, bring it up. This one I'm gonna scale down a little bit, but I'm gonna go S double Z just to scale it along the Z a little bit. And I'll just place this kind of more off to the side and inside like so. Really, really simple stuff here. Um, maybe a little bit more out, there we go. And then we're gonna go Shift A, add in another UV sphere. This one we're gonna bring up to about here, like so, inside of edit mode, enable X mirror. We have proportional editing here, so let's just give them some cheeks, like so. Um, kind of bring this head down a little bit. In the back view, we can grab this vert and just kind of flatten it, since it is a gummy bear. And then just kind of grab this part of the head here, bring it in, maybe bring the face down a bit, you know, something simple like that. Um, maybe in the side, just bring it in a bit. Okay, that's looking cute. I'm gonna tab back out and I'm gonna go Shift A Let's add in another cylinder. And this time in edit mode, we're gonna go S, Z. We're gonna flatten it like a disc. And we just wanna to go to face select and select the top and bottom faces. And then turn off proportional editing and go control B or command B. And just roll and make a puck looking like this and then tab back out. And now we're gonna go G, move this guy up and just go R, X, nine, zero, hit enter. And this is just the ear. We're gonna scale it down and place it right here. And to share this modifier, we're gonna select it, holding and shift select the arm, control L, and then just go and link the um, copy modifiers over here. So now it shares the same modifier and you can kind of move it over here. At any point you could come in here and just kind of maneuver the ear a little bit or, or the head. Um, to kind of refine the shape, but something really simple like that is fine. And you can adjust the style of your bear by how you place these um, completely up to you. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, Shift A, just add in a quick UV sphere. We're almost done, by the way. We're just gonna come here, scale it, and then we're gonna go S, 
x and scale it along the x. And in the side view, we'll just kind of move this in like so. Don't overthink it, something very simple. And uh, that's about it. For now, we're just gonna grab everything that has a mirror, holding in shift, and then control J to join it together. And let's come to the mirror and apply, and then let's select holding in shift the head, the nose and the body and go control J. Now it's all joined. Now we're gonna go to our modifiers and just type in sub and get a subdivision surface. And then come to the drop down and apply that. Right click, go shade smooth. And now let's go here, add modifier, search and type in remesh. Click on remesh. And then enable smooth shading and let's make this 0 0.05. And then let's come to the drop down and apply that. And now we're gonna take our bear and go into sculpting real quick. We're gonna go over here to our um, tools and just go to dynamic topology, change the detail size down to five pixels. And then um, we're gonna to come to symmetry. Let's click on symmetrize down here to make sure it's symmetrized and make sure X mirror is enabled. And then we're gonna come over here and we're just gonna grab the smooth tool. We're gonna to press F to grow the brush. And now let's just click and just smooth out our gummy bear in all the sort of places where it makes sense to smooth it out. So around the ears a little bit, um, wherever you feel it's necessary. Okay, maybe around the cheeks here and the back. Remember, it kind of is a bit more flat at the back because it's been molded. So that's about it. And then let's go over here to our inflate tool F to shrink it. And then let's come here to the strength and increase it. And then just come to the middle of the nose here and just make a little nose. And then over here, hold and control to do an inverse and just make the eyes like so. And there we have it, a simple gummy bear. Let's go back into object mode. Okay, so with your gummy bear selected, what we're gonna do is we'll uh, double tap R and kind of rotate it off to the side a little bit and then just give it a slight back rotation. This is just how I prefer to pose it. You can do whatever you want. I'm then gonna go Shift A. I'm gonna go to my mesh options, add in a plane, R, X, nine, zero. I'm gonna hit enter. Now let's go G and Y and move that back for now. We'll get back to that plane in a bit. But for now, in the front view, we're also gonna go Shift A. We're gonna add in a camera. In the right orthographic view, go G, Y, and move your camera to the side. So it's at the front like this. Then pressing zero on your number pad, you can go into your camera view. And for me, I'm just gonna position my camera kind of just like this. And I'll grab that background plane. I'm gonna go S to scale it up in the background and an S, X to fill in that space. Something like that. There we have it. Now we're gonna go Shift A. We're gonna go to our light options, add in an area light. I'm gonna go G, Z, move one up. Let's take this area light and let's give it a strength of, let's just go with 60 on the power for now. And let's go Z and let's go render. Okay, that's looking good. I'm gonna give it a size of 1.5 meters. And then I'm gonna to go to my render settings. I'm gonna change it from EV to cycles. If you have a GPU, I recommend you use it. If not, you can stick to CPU. And then under your max samples, let's make it 45 for the render. So that's just a render amount. Okay, so here we have our gummy bear and it now has a light on it. We're gonna now go Shift D with this light selected. Um, you can go Shift D to duplicate it and then move it over to the side. And then come up here and change your 3D um, cursor or your transform pivot to 3D cursor. Now you can rotate this light and you can double tap R as well. And you can go Shift D to duplicate, double tap R again. And now you can kind of just duplicate this light as many times as you want and have it kind of coming from the back here. So I'm just gonna duplicate a few lights. With these ones, I might up their strength a little bit under the light property. So I might make it like 100. And then I'll grab this one here, change it to 100. And then once I'm happy with that, I'll grab the top one again, shift D, double tap R to rotate, and I'll just kind of have it kind of coming off from the side here. Just so we have some nice looking lighting, okay? Keeping it very simple. And then we're gonna select um, our background, the plane here. We're gonna go to our materials properties and go new, and let's just make this, call it dark background. 
And I'm going to just make the base color dark. And that's all we need to see for now. Okay, so now let's go over to our shading workspace. Let's go into our camera view. Let's press Z and let's go rendered. Let's click on our gummy bear. And we're going to come over here. And we're going to click on new to create a new material. And let's call it sour gummy. And let's go ahead and come over here to our material output. And we're going to go shift A, search. And we're going to type in here volume. And let's go with a volume absorption. Place it over here. And let's take the volume and plug it into the volume surf, um, input here on the material output. Let's give it a density of five. And with the color here, let's just kind of go with like a reddish kind of orange like this. And then let's come here to our principled. Let's come to the transmission and give it a weight of one. And let's come here to the base color and let's give that sort of like a pinkish kind of red almost like that. And let's just take that roughness value down just a little bit more. And already we have a nice looking gummy material here. You can see that that volume absorption really makes a big difference in how good it looks. Okay, but we're gonna make this look even better by going Shift A, search and getting a noise texture. So type in noise. Let's plug that color into the normal here, which isn't gonna do anything right away. But we can then go Shift A, search and get a bump. Get a bump note, place it on here. We wanna make sure that this input is actually going to the height. And then to control it better, we're gonna go Shift A, search and type in ramp. Let's get a color ramp and then place it between the noise texture and the bump. And then let's just take the scale over here to 60 on our noise. And let's just come here to the bump strength and make it 0.1, like so. And now we've got a little bit of bump to our gummy, so it's not looking too smooth. And you can see already that this gummy material is looking quite nice, but we really wanna add that kind of like sugary salt coating that you get on um, gummy sour gummies. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead. Let's come up here to our scene collection and we're going to right click and go new collection. Let's just call um, double click on it and call it um, sugar. And then we're going to go shift a we're going to add in a cube. And because we had that sugar collection selected, the sugar cube should be in that sugar collection. That's really important. So if we turn off the sugar collection here on the viewport, you should see the cube disappear. So we're gonna take this default cube and we're just gonna go G and move it over to the side. And let's change our transform pivot back to median point. And then we'll scale it down a little bit and then let's go Shift D to duplicate, move one over. Let's go S to scale that one down. Tab into edit mode and let's go R to rotate it. Tab back out. Let's go Shift D to duplicate and let's just go into edit mode of this one. I'm going to shift D to duplicate in object mode, tab into edit mode, and then rotate this one. And I'm just creating a few different random sizes. And in edit mode, I'm just rotating them randomly. And um, just to make all of this, all of them look a little bit different, if that makes sense. Okay. So something like that. There we go. We've got some random um, salt or sugar grains. And what we're going to do now, we're going to select our gummy. We're going to go over to our particles tab. We're going to go plus. Let's make it hairs. Let's um, go over to the render. Let's come here to the render as and change it to collection. Then let's come here to the collection and under the collection, select the sugar. And now you can see we have these cubes scattered along here but we want them to be the right scale. So we're gonna come over here to the render. We're gonna take the scale down and you can tinker a little bit of random, but because we already duplicated some random sizes over here, it should already be making quite a nice random size selection here. So there we have it. Now all we have to do is go down to our children. Let's make it interpolated. And let's just make sure that it's set to about eight in the viewport and in the render we'll make that eight as well so they both match so the only thing we need to do now is select these sugar cubes and then holding in shift select one of them so they're active and then go new let's call this sugar and then with the principled node here that it comes with we're just going to go to the transmission change the weight to one 
And let's just bring that roughness down to about 0.16. And then just go Control L and link those materials so they all show that sugar. So all of these should have that sugar material. So now over here, if you go Z and go rendered, now you can see that's working the way we want. Okay, really, really cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and make sure to save. And then let's go render and then render the image. And here we have it. We now have our sour gummy. And um, yeah, it looks kind of cool. And I think that um, you can always go ahead and mess around with the particle size, maybe make it a little bit smaller, a little bit finer. But I think this really kind of looks cool. It kind of captures the idea of like a sour gummy if you're looking at it really close with like a macro shot. And yeah, I'll be uploading this to my Patreon. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and thank you for watching.